Welcome to another edition of r slash dank memes from site 19. We're going to jump into it immediately with Dr. Gerald touches car, the vehicle, every single light goes off. <laughs> I love the idea of Dr. Gerald having some sort of anomalous problem with vehicles. I even wrote it into a tale of mine, a tale with an incredibly long title, what was it called? Four stories told in order to mislead a sentient severed hand that just wanted to ask a goddamned personal question for once, which is one of my favorite titles. It's not... In that one, I think Dr. Gerald ends up on a Segway. No, it's a, it's a hoverboard and it explodes. Yeah. Good times. Of course, you don't need Dr. Gerald for a hoverboard to explode, but moving on. A junior scientist. Okay, we sent multiple d class in... d class They've suddenly become a Russian. Okay, we <laughs> sent multiple D-class in, and they died. What do we do now? The scientist in charge. Doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time. Yes, that is one of my biggest problems with <laughs> Series 1 test logs, although it's not exclusive to Series 1. But yeah, let's send in some people. Someone's... We sent some people in and they died? Yeah, let's send some more people in. What's the biggest deal? Fucking goddamn. Be honest with you. I mostly included this one because it includes me. Um, I'm kind of a cheap date that way. Dr. Sumerian, you're probably wrong about any SCP unknown demand. Researcher Madeline Saylor. I'll take an attempt to establish a complete chronological timeline of the Foundation. <laughs> that is not a shape that makes any sense. But it is. Yeah. When you walk into an abandoned storage... Uh, Storage facility? Yeah, that should be some, or storage, yeah, that's not right. When you walk into an abandoned storage and suddenly become and expert in, look, man, I know, <laughs> I know this is about dank memes, but come on with your English here. Let's have somebody check it a little bit. When you walk into an abandoned storage facility and suddenly become an expert in quantum physics, just saying, good meme though. When you be gambling in Vegas and demons start showing up that bring Vegas literally to hell so some army men play blackjack against the Roman god Pluto for permission to own Vegas and put the corpse of an Elvis impersonator in the water supply so it all becomes holy water and they can play water sports with the demons. What in the goddamn? That's always been my favorite moment in Fallout New Vegas when you show up <laughs> and, and, and Benny is like, oh, didn't I shoot you in the head? How are you still alive? <laughs> because someone dug me up. It was funny when he says, the truth is the game was rigged from the start. In actuality, it was rigged against him. Ah, yes. <laughs> the two sides of the <laughs> Church of the Broken God. Good times. Maxwellists and... Was it the Mechanites? Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'm not super familiar with the Broken God lore, but I thought, you know... I want to ask a b better question now, now that I'm looking at these memes of this guy. What is the source of this this crying fella? What, what, I feel kind of sorry for him every time I see this kind of meme. Like, it, it overshadows the, I'm just saying, it overshadows the message. And I'm like, what's wrong? what happened to this guy? What's what's causing him to freak out? Is it is it something silly and that I can feel like, oh, it's not that big of a deal? Or, or is it something serious? I don't know. You guys always act like you're better than us. That's uh, SCP-049, SCP-682, and SCP-173. Interestingly enough, even though I don't necessarily think that 682 or 173 in their current form are very good, and I think 049 is much better now with its rewrite, which is a modern-ish rewrite, the bottom ones that are supposedly better, I only recognize one good one in the list. I don't recognize one of them at all, the image anyway. And... One of the other two, although I don't know if the little lamp is supposed to be an SCP. If it is, I don't recognize it either. But, uh, yeah, one of the other two I don't particularly think is very good. Moving on. Clink, clang, clink, clang. Clink, clank, clank, clink, clink. <laughs> it does make a lot of noise. <laughs> All right. Let, oh, wait. Now, this is meta commentary on dank memes from Site-19. Most of the new SCPs are better than the old, more popular ones because they address and correct the issues the old ones had. Dank means from Site-19. That sign won't stop me because I can't read past Series 1. 
I don't know if that's fair, but uh, it's funny. I feel like uh, Dank Memes from Site19 does a pretty good job with a lot of modern stuff. It's like when people say stuff like, Volgan only reads Series 1, and that just tells you that that's someone who doesn't watch Volgan videos at all. Uh, I mean, come on. If you're going to be elitist, at least get on my level. Real talk. So are Apollyon and Archon going to get their own tags or what? I don't know. I think it said that Archon has like 10 SCPs. That doesn't seem like enough for uh, a tag for an object class. But then again, I've, I've started not putting object classes at all in my articles. <laughs> Random guy asking me to speak peasant English. He's a medical man, such as myself. Yes, see this? <laughs> I'm assuming this is a reference to Dr. Ham. You know the thing about Dr. Ham? I voiced him in the article. And that... Makes it better than every <laughs> character. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can do the voice real quick. Mm. <sighs> yes, well, um, <clears throat> that is. Uh... No, that's a little, it's a little huskier than I think it should be. Let's try that again. <sighs> <sighs> well, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, my name is Doctor Raymond Ham. And I would, uh, like very much to speak with you for a moment about your, uh... What is the pestilence, exactly? Something along those lines. Let's see. <laughs> Plutonium? Nah. Bananas? Yeah. Billions of bananas for absolutely no goddamn reason. Stupid fucking Dado. The Foundation's secret information is leaking, and photos of SCP-031 are being uploaded on the internet. Is that David Bowie? I don't even remember which one SCP-031 is. I just thought, is that David Bowie when I was looking through these memes? <laughs> that was enough for me. Me, the SCPs are so weird. We were lucky to have the doctors add a little bit of realism. The doctors. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. Paul Blart, MTF cadet. Oh, God, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. My stupid-ass brain. Remembering one math theorem. <laughs> you know, this rem Remembering 100-plus SCPs with containment procedures and most MTF units. Uh, this is the funny part about doing... But, like, people talk about how many SCPs they know, or, like, when someone complains about how many... Series 1 SCPs people know, but nobody knows about the newer ones. I don't know if there are any Series 1 SCPs or Series 2 through 5. It's just a matter of, like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, ah, oh, someone will name off a number or a name of something, and I'll be like, I have no idea what that is anymore. So I'm the opposite way around. Of course, I don't know any math theorems either. So it's like, I don't remember any of these damn details. And also, remembering most MTF units seems pretty unlikely since like there are so many one-off mtf like maybe if you're talking about mtf units that are used in more than one article okay there's so many one-off like single article mtfs that there's no way you remember most of them i'm, I'm sorry oh an alignment <laughs> an alignment chart for <laughs> you know lawful good man a charitable I don't know. That is, I don't think mana charitable seems lawful to me. Serpent's hand neutral good. That's I would put them in chaotic good, but I guess the idea is that gamers against weed is more chaotic. But I don't know if they're even chaotic good. I guess it depends on the portrayal. MC and D lawful neutral makes more sense. True neutral nobody. Okay, I guess chaotic neutral. Are we cool yet? sure lawful evil scp foundation that's pretty close i don't know maybe it depends on the depiction some of them i would call them lawful neutral definitely not good in any but any any depiction on the scp wiki but i think you could move them all the way up to neutral uh, if you really wanted to there is a bug crawling on the wire to my microphone and it's about to die. Nope, not dead yet. Move! I'm gonna kill you! Ah! 
Okay. Well, it's dead now. You guys just heard the death of a of, of a living thing. Neutral evil. That would be uh, me, apparently. Also, uh, the fifth is that's the fifth. Yeah, it's stars and it's a star and it's five point and it's just, it's the fifth. And then the factory for chaotic evil, which maybe I guess I don't know that I agree with all of this, but they're pretty close, I guess. And more problematic, the more problematic parts of the like top level, the lawful good, neutral good, and chaotic good. I mean, is gamers against we good? I feel like they're more neutral. And the Serpent's Hand feels more chaotic good. Like, I don't care what the rules are. I'm going to do what's right. Eh, this is me anyway. Moving on. Death. The moment someone walks out of a weird cave in Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. You die now. That is how it works. You know what? I've got a bunch more memes to do, but I'm actually kind of running over on time already. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. We'll uh, split the rest of these off into another video in probably a couple weeks from now. I've also got to do an art gallery at some point. I really, really like the meme community surrounding the SCP community. And I feel like uh, these people do an amazing job of combining, you know, you take a picture and then you just take a few words and you can turn that picture into something either hilarious or just so appropriate for the topic. And I have found that doing that myself has always been very difficult. But I've started to look into classes on Skillshare. And this is where I do a seamless, until now, plug for a new thing I'm doing where I signed up myself to become an affiliate for Skillshare. Now, you can go down into the description right now, click a link, and be taken to a digital poster design class on Skillshare. And if you click my link, you can help support the channel and get a two-month free trial to check out how to combine words and images in ways that boggle the mind or something. Full disclosure, I get paid if you sign up for a free trial, so I'm not doing this out of the kindness of my own heart, but I do believe in their classes and I think it's a very good service, so check it out. But before you go, be sure to scroll down and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell next to that. And then check me out on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dcimerian like everybody on the screen here already has and help support me directly. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here and I'll see you all again on Thursday.